she is incredible. You're going to make me cry. I'm super emotional as a, just normally. And then like, I'm on my period now too. And I'm like, sorry, TMI, but I'm, um, so I'm just like a mess. Um, but I'm very, very honored to be surrounded by you guys tonight. Um, you know, Lindsay and this team is very, very special to me. Um, because I, I used to kind of feel like a little, you know, foster <laughs> little orphan, orphan coach. And, um, you know, before I built a strong team and you guys have always welcomed me with open arms and that played a huge role in my business and kept me going, um, gave me hope. And, um, Lindsay has been a person that I've always been able to lean on. I've always looked up to her and her leadership and the team that she has grown. And, um, you know, we have held each other accountable and we have, you know, pushed each other and we have succeeded together and we failed together. And that is part of leadership. That's part of this business. And, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, you guys. I wish I could come on here and, and tell you that this is the, this is the secret sauce. This, well, I mean, it is the secret sauce, but it's not going to be anything different than you've probably already heard. And I kind of get tired of hearing like the same thing over and over and over again, but that tells you that that is, that is what it is. Um, you know, I am no different than anybody else. I honestly, let me back up a little bit. So I've been a coach for five and a half years. Yes, five and a half years. And elite has been a goal of mine every single year. And have I hit elite yet? No, I have not. Elite was my goal this year, but goals are not meant for us to reach them. They're meant to stretch us per Josh Coates. Um, and he's played a huge role in, in my business. And I don't know if you guys have read his book, but it's really, really good. And it's really, it's really, really, um, it's F leadership and don't let the, the, the title kind of throw you off, but it's one of the easiest leadership books that I've read. And, um, I am, you know, in his push elite group and felt like going in there, like, what am I doing? Like, like literally what am I doing? Because I, again, have been a coach for five and a half years. I have, you know, reached diamond two star three. I mean, and, and it's, I'm fallen and got back up and I've had diamonds quit on me and all of the things that we all experience. Um, the one thing that I am is consistent no matter what. And I will say that that is the thing that has kept me going. Um, I think that, you know, in this business, we typically, tend, we, we overcomplicate it and I over, I still overcomplicate it sometimes. I have to like check myself um, because there is no, you know, there is no magic answer of, you know, we, we have all these trainings and we have all these scripts, but at the end of the day, like we know what we need to do. We know what we need to do, but we need to do it consistently as well. And we need to do it with a whole lot of heart. Um, one time I heard, uh, I was listening to a call and they talked about how, like, if we opened up a restaurant, we would invite everybody. Like we, we wouldn't think twice about inviting our family, our friends, our neighbors, stranger on a street. Like we would be passing out flyers to everybody. Like we wouldn't think anything about it because we, we love our restaurant and we want to tell everybody about it. But we don't do that with this. And even though it is a little bit different, like we're not gonna hang out, you know, hand out flyers or anything, but we're still gonna share it and we're still gonna talk about it to the people that we love the most. But in our minds, it's like we overcomplicate it and we think that we have to have the perfect script and the perfect post and the perfect training and however many followers and however many friends. And that's not, it's not the case. You just have to share like what you love about it and what it's done for you. 
Um, and when I heard that, I mean, and, and I've, again, I've heard that before and, but we really do overcomplicate it because we think that we're, we don't know what to say. You guys, we're never going to say the right thing to the wrong person. And we're never going to say the wrong thing to the right person, but we have to be consistent with the vital behaviors. And that is the, that is the secret. Um, since I've been a coach and we've all, I, I love, you know, we all go through challenges. Some are, some are very happy, like have, you know, having a baby or getting married or moving. Um, some of them are, you know, not as exciting or they're more, I can't think of the word. Um, devastating with death or maybe a deployment of a spouse or a family member. Um, we all have a sickness. Um, we all have those challenges. And the thing is, is when we have those, like we have the opportunity to lean in to this community and allow it to be a space where we can be ourselves, but we can also get the support and accountability and love that we need, or we can pull away. And a lot of times, especially this time of year, we start hearing people say, well, I need to take a step back or I'm super stressed or I can't, um, you know, I can't do the vitals or whatever the case is. I want to encourage you to lean in because this time of year is when a lot of people pull back. They, they don't show up and you want to be the person that is. You want to be the person when the person that you've been talking to forever and they have not committed is ready in January. You are the first person that they think of. Um, last, like within a week time span, I had three people that I had not had a conversation with, um, like within the past couple of weeks or even really month. One of them was an old customer. She came back. She wanted to buy Shakeology. I had another old customer that came back. So when people quit, still be showing up. Don't give, don't give up hope. They will probably come back. Um, and one girl had totally ignored my messages for the past 15 times that I've invited her. When I sent her a happy birthday message, she has ignored me. Well, I sent her a message the other day and she signed up like immediately. So it can be really, really frustrating when people aren't engaging on your post. They aren't, you know, I get ignored. I get no's still like that doesn't go away. So I just tell people like, go ahead and embrace it and be okay with it and like release it. Um, and it's so much more freeing, like not that you expect it, but that you know that it's just part, it's just part of it because probably none of us said yes the very first time that we, you know, some, we were asked or approached about it because people need to build our trust or we need to, we need to build that trust and that relationship with them. That comes from consistency. That comes from the energy that we bring. Not that we're perfect, not that we're going to have a good day every single day because we're not, because we are going to have those challenges, but we get to choose if we show up and share how the coaching, our accountability groups, our team, our tribe helps us through that and how being a part of that helps you to show up for yourself. This business, a hundred percent, like I a hundred percent believe that this business, um, that everything that this business tells us to do, like as far as our vitals improves our life. All right. So, um, you know, personal development, everybody needs to, like, everybody has that desire to grow. If we're not growing, we're dying. So regardless if you do this business or not, like we, you know, we tell our challengers that we need to do personal development. We know the value in that. If it is, you know, it doesn't have to be business related. It's, you know, self love. Maybe it's in our marriage. Maybe it's in our finances. Like all of those things are personal development and we get out of school and we stop growing and we just become numb and we're just like going through the motions. That growth is very, very important for every human being. That's part of our job. Okay. The workouts, Obviously, um, you know, we can't be a coach if we're not working out unless you're injured or something like that. And 
then, then you lean into your nutrition and rock the crap out of that because we have the resources for that. You guys, I broke my elbow last year, roller skating. We won't talk about it, but I haven't been on roller skates ever, <laughs> ever since. Um, and I did lift four with one arm. Now I couldn't do it like whole, you know, full out. I did what I could. And now I've done jacked up my knee. I'm a mess. And I'm just doing what I can. And I'm sharing that, you know, I'm sharing that I'm, I'm struggling. I'm sharing that I'm ticked off that I can't do it full out, but I'm continuing to show up and showing people that, because that's what we do is that like, we have the tools to navigate life, to navigate the challenges, to navigate the holidays so that we can help people to get out of that cycle of starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And so, you know, our workouts, obviously when we take care of ourselves, we feel better. We have more energy. We have more confidence and belief in ourselves. Um, so as a, again, as a coach, one of the vital things that we need to do is work out if we are able to, um, that's good for us. Caring about other people and investing, you know, in others, adding value through, our, you know, our post through our stories. You guys, if you aren't doing stories, please do stories. Um, and it, it took me a while to do it because I felt really, really dumb, like talking to myself. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I do. And, um, but I have people that watch my stories daily that never give anything about my post. And that's okay because that's the people that I end up inviting because they are, they are in my store. They are in my restaurant. And to me, I'm doing them a disservice. If I do not say, Hey, can I help you? Basic. I'm not, I don't say that, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we get to care about other people and add value, not just in health and wellness, but in all areas of, you know, all the things that we like, um, or share, or, you know, it doesn't have to be health and fitness related. It can be outfits. It can be, you know, baby items. Um, all of those things, all of that is adding value to people. Again, why would we want to like take, you know, like, I need to take a step back from that. Like, why would we want to do that? Because that just makes us a better person. We are here to serve people in whatever way that looks like. Beachbody is just like a vehicle to be able to do that. You know, um, we get to praise and recognize people. How good does that feel to be able to, to give praise, to celebrate others? If it's coaches, if it's our teammates, if it is our challengers, you guys know how good it feels when you get that message from somebody that, you know, they've, maybe they've lost a certain amount of weight, or maybe they put on a pair of jeans that they haven't been able to wear. Like, and we get to celebrate, like, it feels good that way. Cause you're like, I had a part in that. And but it also to be able to love and encourage other people. Again, something that as human beings, we're here to do, right? Um, so it's really easy to let go of those activities, especially this time of year. It's easy. It's easy not to work this business. It's really easy not to. But the activities that we do as a coach is going to help you to be a better person in all all areas of, of your life. And I, I wholeheartedly believe that, you know, coaching is the gateway for growth and development and leadership. Like we're, you may not have any, you may, you may, you may be a coach and you don't have anybody on your team, but you're still a leader in some way. Maybe you're a leader in your home. Maybe you're a leader in your church. You're a leader in some way. And coaching is just one area of our life that is giving us all of these tools that help us to be a better person. And that's freaking awesome that we get to do that, but we get paid to do that too, you know? And so we really have to have that shift is it, of it not being something that we just have to check off, but being something that really helps us to become the person that we want to be. You know, I, I think about a lot of times, 
who I, as a mom, who I am. And my daughter is seven and she will say, she, she'll say a lot of sassy things that I'm like, yep, that was me too. But um, she'll say a lot of things about herself or she'll say, you know, like she'll even like take something that I've said to her and, and take it back on me. Like there was one day I was frustrated and she's like, mama, you know, what you always tell me is that we just get back up and we just do it again. And, you know, and that's just a simple thing, but because of the, the, the growth and the work that I'm doing on myself as a coach is helping me to be a better example for her because I used to be a very negative negative person and I would I had that victim mindset and I would just be devastated to see the example that I could possibly leave for her so it matters what we do on a daily basis um regardless if you, you maybe you don't have children but you're gonna the ripple effect is there no matter what is there um so when you find yourself in this place of, and, and you guys, like, I've been there too. I've been there like, oh my God, like, you know, just like overwhelmed or whatever the case is. Um, but ask yourself, like, if you feel that way, ask yourself, like, what do you need to take a step back from? Do you need to take a step back from your personal development? Do you need to take a step back from moving your body in a respectful way, the way that the Lord intended us to? or fueling our body in a respectful way? Are you taking a step back from serving other people or from loving other people or encouraging, recognizing all of those things? Our vital behaviors, you guys, are vital for life. It's not just our business. It's for life. And again, that ripple effect is like my marriage is, is better. And like we haven't, worked on our, like, we haven't like sat down and say, okay, we need to have a conversation about our marriage. Like, it's just because of the people that we've become along the way. And, um, so more than likely, if you feel like you need to take a step back, it's, it's the other crap that you have going on that you need to let go of. Not this, because it doesn't matter, you guys, if you are a hobby coach or if you are somebody that is going to retire your husband, like I plan to do consistency matters. That's where the trust is built. That's where your belief in yourself is built. Because if you are constantly starting and stopping, you are going to beat yourself up. And so don't, you're going to fall short. You guys, I have fallen short multiple times. That's not going to go away. Refuse to stop short. Refuse to do that. Okay. Because this business is, it is providing us with everything that we could possibly need to better our lives and, you know, be there for other people because we are self, you know, we're selfish when we don't share this. And when you're, when you, um, you know, we're, we're going to have ups and downs in our, in our personal journey as well, where maybe, you know, we've, not gotten results or maybe we got thrown off or, you know, life happens. It happened, you know, it happens to us all. But again, we have the tools to navigate that. So maybe you're in a place where you haven't had a transformation in a while. Do the three day refresh, commit to bar blend, like, and, and make, make it known, like take your progress pictures and post it and I did that. I had not posted progress pictures in, I don't know how long in my challenge group. And I'm like, you know what, Amy, how can you expect your challengers to post progress pictures if you're not doing that? And so I did. And I leveled myself up just a little bit. Cause I was like, I don't want my pictures to look exactly the same. You know, I mean, I wanted to, you know, have to be that example. And so we cannot, you know, we can't ask our, our challengers, our coaches to do the things that we're not going to do. So focus on, you know, your own journey and, and maybe you're in a place where you have felt stuck, do something about it, reach out to your coach or somebody on the team and say, this is where I am and commit 
to a program and do it from start to finish. And, um, you know, if it's the nutrition aspect or if it's, you know, your workout, um, cause the, again, life and this business go hand in hand. And if you want your life to be better and you want your business, or if you want your business to be better, um, if you want, I'm getting myself confused. If you want a better life, do better in your business because it's going, it's either way, it's going to have an impact on the other. Okay. Um, they're intertwined. And so we really have to make it a priority and see it as a blessing that it is. And sometimes I think that we forget the blessing that it is. And we get, we start being fearful of inviting or whatever the case is. I encourage you guys to, when you get in that place is to make your, if you haven't before do this, if you have done it, get it out. Your before beach body, take a piece of paper, draw a line on, on one side of the paper. You have before beach body on the other side, you have, um, after beach body or now or whatever it is and make a list of, you know, who you were pre beach body, because we're all here and all coaches because this changed our life. And I think sometimes we forget that because we do start checking off the boxes and we kind of get in this rut and we forget the gift that we have and what it has done for us and what it can do for other people. And we are being selfish if we do not share that with other people. So if you're in this place where you are struggling with that or you feel, I don't like the word struggling. If you are challenged in that, is to make your your before and now and update it too because a lot of times we think well I don't have a I don't have a transformation or I don't have a team or I haven't made enough money to it doesn't matter because you're here because it changes your life and it's con, it's going to continue to change your life and so when you have that in front of you invite from that place invite from that mindset and that will your your invites will come from a totally like because people can feel our energy and that's why it's so important too to really focus on our own health and wellness journey as well because when you're on it and you're crushing it and again not we're not here to be like perfect and and you know it doesn't matter about our abs and and all of that but we do want to make progress and there's a lot of different ways to measure progress and so it's important that we show that and when we can like you do a a 3 day refresh and you do it like and then you share that like ain't no, nobody can tell you that it didn't work. Like if you're doing the stuff, you know, like your confidence is just like there. And then when you can invite from that place, it ain't going to matter how many no's you have. It's not going to matter. Um, and then the last thing I want to, um, to share is just remember why you're here and I know we talk about that a lot too know your why and it's one of those things that for some people it goes in one ear and out the other but you do have to know why you're here and you have to know what you're fighting for you have to know why you want it not why Lindsay wants it or you're 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 not doing that for them you're not doing it for them you're doing it for you and so we have to know what that is because you're going to show up differently for that um, and, and really creating that urgency that Josh talks about, you know, he talks about, you, you know, if you're, and he talks about it in this book too, but if that urgency makes us do things regardless of how we feel, and if your house was on fire and you knew that your family or somebody that you loved was inside of it, would you go and sit in your car and call the locksmith and be like, Hey, I can't get in my car. No, you would kick the darn door down and it wouldn't matter. Like nobody would get in your way. Like it didn't matter who told you no, it wouldn't matter who ignored your conversation. You would bust down the dang door. It's the same thing with our business. If 
you know why you're here and why it's important to you, you will show up differently. But if you don't know what that is, somebody's going to tell you no, or somebody's going to like, I had a girl that was like, that I would never want to do that. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sucks for you. You know, like it, I, it just rolls right off of me, but I have, it hasn't always done that, but I have heard it so many times and I'm like, I feel bad for him, you know, but it's okay because it's not for everybody, but she ain't going to stop me from going and busting down that door for the vision that I have. So that's why it's so important to, for you for all of us to know what that is and that can evolve and maybe it's not this big thing i think sometimes we think well i don't want to you know i don't want to retire from my job maybe not but you may be financially stable and where you want to be josh always says this too would you but think about other people that aren't where they need to be especially this time of year and they can't buy christmas presents or maybe they can't have Christmas dinner. If you were in a place where you could help them, then you could serve more people. And so, you know, we just have to, we have to think outside the box sometimes and not get, stay in your lane and not think about what everybody else around here is doing or not doing or what's, you know, if you're, if we're busy looking what other people are doing, then we're not, we're not, seeing what's working for us and that's going to look different and just remember that people are watching you and i say that i say that so much to my team but they are they are watching you and you will you will the more you show up consistently no matter how many likes you get no how no matter how many yeses or whatever the case or no's or whatever the case is just keep choosing to keep showing up if nothing else so that you can be the person that you want to be, you know, because it does go hand in hand. But I promise you, if you keep doing the things, you will reach your goals, but you have to know, you have to know what that is for you. You have to know what that is because you're going to be the one that's fighting for them because people aren't, you know, like, you're not going to fight for Lindsay's goals and your coaches aren't going to fight for your goals. You're going to have team goals, but individually that's when you show up for yourself and it, just having that clarity is everything and knowing what that is for you and that it's okay if it's, you know, different for other people, you know? So I talked enough. <laughs> I didn't look in the um, in the chat. Amy, will you share really quickly? Like, I know when we were going back and forth about the Josh Coates group and the investment part of it and all this. And by no means am I promoting Josh Coates right now. He did not ask us to do this. Um, but will you just share for a second with everyone, like? That was really scary for both Amy and me because financially it was a big investment. Um, and also we both felt like small fish in a big pond. <laughs> um, but I wanted to, you just to share briefly like the impact it's made on your business and on your mindset. Because like I remember our conversations four months ago compared to today, they're totally different. Um, yeah, Lindsay is the reason why I got in <laughs> Great because she commented on the post and I said, I remember I was, I was buying a car and I sent her a message and I'm like, are you going to, are you going to, I think I asked if she was going to do another group and she was like, no, I'm thinking about doing the push elite group. And I'm like, well, holy shit. Like, <laughs> um, okay. And then that's why it's important to be surrounded by people that are going to help you level up. And I think that that's been the biggest thing for me because it was a big investment. And it lit a fire under my tail too, because I asked my husband and he was like, go for it. And I thought that was easy, but now I got to, you know, I got to show up and I got to do the work. And I think that that's a big thing too, when it comes to our business is that we really don't have like a, you know, we don't have thousands of dollars laying on the table. You know, we signed up for free, probably if you bought a challenge pack. And I think that that's part of it too, but it's so 
I mean, I was like, I really thought, and, and I know we talked about like, we are going to just, I'm just going to vomit. Like I'm, I felt sick to my stomach, but part of me was like, Amy, you need to do this. So it's really important. Again, this is something that you hear all the time. You have to get out of your comfort zone. And we got surrounded by people that, you know, had been coaches for, you know, longer and shorter and, you know, that from all different backgrounds and all different teams. And that's why it's really, really important to not only invest in your business, not necessarily, you know, Josh Coates or some huge training, but in some way, shape or form, you do have to put into your business to be able to get out. If it's a super Saturday or summit, you know, get to the, things. Um, it is, it is an investment, but it is also about always being surrounded by somebody that's going to help you level up. You know, don't be the smartest person in the room. And if you are, you need a different room and that's not to be ugly, but you have to, you have to, so that you do do crazy stuff like I did because Lindsay was like, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you jump, I jump. And, but it, it has been, one of the best things that I have done, not because I hit premiere, but because of the growth that I've had in myself, because I still kind of feel like I don't have anything. I'm like, what do I have to offer? You know, but we all have something to offer because we're all different. We all have different strengths and we have, you know, we have weaknesses, weakness, you know, what I'm trying to say, um, but in that group, it's the same thing. Like you have all of these people that are, are striving to grow in some way, shape or form. And we all did grow. And a lot of people in there are probably, you know, they're, they're not going to necessarily hit the particular goal that they were going after. And that's okay. Like I told Josh the other day, I was like, I feel like, I, I feel like I've missed the boat. Like I've been a coach for five and a half years and I've never, you know, I've never been a lead. Like how many times have you heard on a national wake up call that they've been a coach for 18 years and they hit a leak once you, you don't. Okay. But I'm going to be that person. And I've decided that I'm going to be the comeback kid. And, but I told him that day, he actually gave me an affirmation. He's really good about that. Um, I, I said, I feel like I've missed the boat. Like, because I haven't, I wasn't successful in my first two years. That's me not staying in my lane. That's me looking at what everybody else is doing. There is nothing in Beachbody that says that you cannot be successful in your five or six or seven or eight or nine or 10 or 18. There, it, it doesn't matter. And he told me, it said, because I, and he's like, well, why do you say that? And he was like, well, what, you know, where, what have you accomplished? And I was like, well, I've, I've grown my team. I've, I've grown my income. More importantly, like the confidence in myself as a leader, um, getting out of my comfort zone, all of these things. And he said, okay, because I'm building a solid team that is growing and creating unstoppable momentum, moving closer and closer to my goals, I couldn't have possibly missed the boat. So even though it doesn't, and then he said, I'm driving that mf -er, but <laughs> that, that, I was like, whoa. Um, I was like, okay. Um, but we have to have that shift because that is a limiting belief that I've missed the boat and because there's no rule around that. And I've told myself that over and over and over, like it's too late for you. No, it's, it's not, it's not unless I choose for it to be, unless I choose to stop. And, but because I have stretched myself, I didn't hit a leap. Who cares? I am a much better person because I continued to work on myself and I put myself in a very uncomfortable situation with people that I felt like that I did not deserve to be in the room with initially. Um, but I've learned a lot from them and I feel really good about going in 2020 and I'm really excited about it because I feel like going into it, I have more tools and, and again, just more confidence. So that was a long answer. Sorry. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions you want to throw up in chat or? You're welcome. Thank you guys for 
having me tonight. Thank you. Um, I know I speak for everyone when I say you just like gave us gold because so many of us are in that place right now where it is easier to get wrapped up in the holiday and the, the food and the, you know, the excuses. Um, and so it's good to, you know, just redirect ourselves and see that it's just consistency and showing up and we are all in this together. And so I, I appreciate you. And I think I speak on behalf of the whole team when I say thank you so much for this nugget, because it is definitely going to allow some of us to set some more reasons as rather than excuses up for the next few weeks. And I'm going to say to you guys, like now, like now is the time to be like on it, like on it because come January again, you want to be the people that people are like, Oh, I need to reach out to her. Cause she was like crushing it all in December. You know, maybe you don't crush it. Like maybe you don't crush it. Maybe you don't get results, you know, like, uh, like visual results. Maybe you don't, but maybe you don't gain 10 pounds. Maybe you don't work backwards. Maybe you don't just totally fall off the face of the earth, you know, because you're, the more you show up in people's minds, they are like, when they are ready, they're going to be like, oh, that girl, she shows up. I know she's going to show up for me and you're going to be the first person they think of. So I always remind myself of that too. When I'm like, oh, you know, when I'm kind of feeling that way, I'm like, you know what? Like, come January, like people are going to, people are going to, people are going to be, you know, more people are going to be ready. And I'm going to tell you, you guys, people are ready now. People are ready now. So don't, don't, we can't go to that space either because if we do that, then that's exactly what we're going to find is a bunch of people telling us no, but people need us now. People are ready now. So don't forget that part either. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I hope y'all have a great week. Love